my teeth this morning, um, done breakfast, done morning meds, done all that stuff, gone out for a cigarette and stuff, and now I'm finally getting a chance so we can do a face and we can do my hair and then we can work it off on the phone. It's the wipes I don't like again, so I won't be linking them in my description box or anything just because I don't think they're good. Um, I did do all this last night, but um, my phone ran out of space, so I couldn't record it. So I've deleted a bunch of stuff and tried to clear up my phone best that I could, so because I use my old phone to film. But yeah, I really don't like these wipes at all. So last night I got a new medication. Well, it wasn't new to me, but it was new in the way that they're giving me it. Um, so it's metoclopramide. And I was given that for anti-sickness before I came in. And when I came in and I asked for my anti-sickness tablet and told them what I get for anti-sickness, they told me that they don't prescribe it for anti-sickness. Um, and then yesterday when I saw my psychiatrist, I asked him if I could have something to help me sleep because of my nightmares and he prescribed me something for um, for trauma based nightmares. I didn't actually know that there's um, I didn't actually know that there's medication specifically for um, for trauma based nightmares. Um, but there is and what they prescribed me was metoclopramide, so it's new in the fact that of what it's being like prescribed for. Um, and I think it worked, I'm not too sure. Um, so that probably means it did work. Um, so that's what happened last night. But I can't um, I can't find anything on it being an alpha blocker, which is what they described it as. They said it's an alpha blocker, like it blocks off the alpha part of your brain while you're sleeping so that like you're not having nightmares and stuff um although i did this morning i woke up and i wasn't in a freezing cold sweat so that was good um but when i look it up i can't find anything on it about it being used for as an alpha blocker and i really want to like read up about it and um, I want to learn about my medications better and understand them better and I also want to understand my conditions better as well just like for my own sake so now here what happened with me so I'm now getting to compromise again but at this time it's not for nausea but apparently it also helps with like stomach motility and like a bunch of different stuff and like nausea as well so let's just hope that let's just hope that it actually like works for me said that it should I when I asked him how well, I asked him how long it would take to get the prescription but he thought I asked like how long it would take for it to start working. He said it should start working like pretty much immediately, which is good. Um but I actually meant like how long would it take to get the prescription through and I ended up getting the prescription this like last night which was good because I thought I might have to wait like a few days or something. Um, but they told me it really just depends on like availability and stuff like that. So I got it. And I think I did sleep better last night, but I'd also had like a diazepam yesterday morning. And um, I had one before I went to bed as well. I don't know if it was just like the 
actually there the pan that was doing it or if it was um or if it was like actually just the meth compromise that was helping because who knows Let's see if i can clip this back out better So I just find out my lawyer is coming up at 3, which is my snack time, so now I've got to figure out how to have my snack and my rest. And then my advocate's coming up at 4, so after 4, like dinner's at 5, so I've got to try and figure out like where my rest and snacks and stuff fit in around that. Um, I'm pretty nervous, but it's good that um, the mental health lawyer is coming in so soon because it means we can get things moving along a little bit faster, but I'm also like anxious about it. But we'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm going to try and get my snack done. I'm going to try and get my snack done now. Um, have to because then I need a half hour's rest and then that'll take me to three o'clock which is when the lawyer comes, but yeah, I don't like when my day gets changed about, but it's for a good reason I suppose, so I'll just try and deal with it, um, so I'll check back in once I've spoken to my lawyer and then after I speak to my advocate, so. saw my advocate and um, my advocate kind of went over some things with me, um, a little bit of paperwork and we're going to see if there's a way that we can negotiate me going home. Basically because it's not even that I'm compliant with taking my meds but I want to take my medications and stuff like that. Um, they're thinking that the mental health hold doesn't mental health uh, act hold thingy doesn't really like apply because they're putting me on the hold because of my weight, not necessarily because of my mental health issues. At least that's what we're thinking. Um, so basically, she gave me like a list of like the criteria for mental health for a psychiatric hold and um, there's only one that really like and it's about like if you're at risk of yourself um, and they're using that they're using my weight for that one they're using my low BMI I did ask to be like transferred to like a general how I feel about my body or how I think I look or anything like that. It's purely about like, it all started with something physical. And I'm pretty sure it's still physical because I have no issues with food. They put food in front of me, I eat it. They put something to drink in front of me, I drink it. And um, yeah, it's just been difficult. And also this environment is just, it's not good for me. Um, there's a lot, of, this is a very triggering environment for me. It's, in general, yes, it's a nice ward, it's a good ward, but there's a lot of 
you know, I had a lot of goings on and my care isn't like consistent across like from person to person and stuff. Um so yeah, I try to get her on on Wednesday, so we'll see how that goes. Um my advocate's gonna see if she can come if she can come up on Tuesday for the ward round. Um and we'll just see how it goes, I guess. difficult to be in and the environment of it is triggering there's people that are triggering their whatever they're dealing with as well um can also be a bit kind of triggering and stuff as well and um, just seeing and hearing like the screaming and screeching and people fighting with imaginary people and just different things like that it's a very very difficult and triggering place to be i don't really have the words I don't really have the words to describe what it's like being here and I don't really have like the proper words to describe um, any of it really but um, the meetings with the lawyer and the um, advocate they did go well um, I just need to like look through some things read through some things and then I need to email some stuff over to my advocate and I should probably email it over to my lawyer too. Um, so I should probably do that now instead of being doing this. But I just needed to do a little check and yeah. So I've got to do a half hour wait now because I've just had a snack and they let me add the banana in. So normally it would just be like 250 mils of water. Um, but they let me have a banana because I was craving a banana because I have a banana vape. A banana strawberry vape and it's I was making three bananas and the bananas were sitting there looking all perfectly yellow and stuff and I'm like, I really want one. So I was glad to have one. Um but yeah, so that's how my afternoon went. Just um yeah, that's how it went. So I'm gonna do my half hour rest and then I think at about eight o'clock it's supper so there's more toast and if you know me you know I love toast so that's like the highlight of my day is when I get toast um I also ordered some um vapes and they delivered them to the wrong place so I've got to wait till probably tomorrow to get them hopefully not any hopefully not any longer than past tomorrow because yeah they were meant to come today but they delivered them to the wrong place so I'm going to go do my half hour rest and I'll see you all later.